the Cinebeards. Hi, Hi welcome Marcus. to the Cinebeards. I, I, I am your host, Marcus Justin Knave. Theroux. Marcus Knave, he is our host today. Hey, hey. I don't Knave. think he should be host, he got his own name wrong. Oh, he did. That's embarrassing. One day this is going to work. I nominate Thomas. Thomas, you have to host now. No. We'll be your parasites. Is that a Hallmark card? I think it might be. <laughs> Probably. But like, written by Inspirobot. <laughs> Inspiro Trilogy bot. <gasps> In fact, I want to know what Inspiro bot has to say about this situation oh right gosh. now. All right, oh God, I, I'll, host, I'll do this. I'll okay. take this upon myself. I will get it done. <gasps> no, God, no, we're gonna have to find another host oh. in years. <laughs> we're gonna have to get a robot. <laughs> We have to get another robot host. <laughs> we right, can't Jason, keep I guess it's that. on you. I know this is weird break uh, with tradition, but you're gonna have to host. Yeah. Fine. The forty odd of us are the Cinnabeards. <laughs> the collective known as. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, yeah, no, he, no, he's, he's not one of them. He's we, not one of them. We no, no, no. declined his membership. Encouraging a blind person to be your alien is pretty much as disgusting as you get. <laughs> Inspirobot's not wrong. Inspirobot is never yeah, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna refresh Inspirobot now, like for the rest of this recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those two are out of action. So Thomas and I are today Jason. are gonna be speaking about movie franchises that have gotten redemption, need redemption, or just need to die already. Yeah. Yeah. And the first one that needs to die, Transformers. We'll get there, but the reason we're talking about this is because yes. Creed 2 is, is uh, releasing around the time of this. I think it's the Friday before or the Friday after. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> the thing is, no, no, the thing is, just if we were Sorry. to, if we were to say, can the Transformers franchise now, like those wounds, stay with us, because as Inspirobot says, sadness carries on after you die. Yeah. Wow. And also, that I is don't... unbelievably appropriate. That is wow. I've got one that's, that's also are inappropriate. Are you one Inspire <laughs> no, no, like, well, because what what have we constantly been saying about the Transformers movies, right? That they're sort of like dumbing you down and they're terrible, right? Yeah. Okay, so Inspirebot tells me a brain injury can be better than what you imagine. No, am I still better? I, I, I want Inspirebot. I don't know. I can imagine Bloodborne too. Jason, uh, like Jason. pretty much nothing is better than what I can imagine. Jason, Dion, I will fight you. Jason, no, don't, don't, Wait. no, don't, no, no, Wait. no, no, Wait. no, Dion. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to go. Okay. Where's blood? No! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Okay, so okay, so I think the Transformers movies need to either die or be remade in god's image <laughs> do you think well, bumblebee is gonna do that well that's i think bumblebee is gonna be good the gag is is that you know back when michael bay said oh the old transformers designs don't work and we could never ever put them on screen and they would never ever look good yeah we're now getting exactly yeah. well, that I mean, I've, and seen, they look good. I've seen like yeah. Lindsay yeah. ellis like super excited about bumblebee which is like that's weird yeah the, the, the it's the not movie, that it's not, not a... that weird though because like it's it looks like the thing about the bumblebee trailer because we've only seen the tr one trailer so two. far two two trailers so far the like, second one's when we yeah, saw it looks runs. like you know an action adventure film with you know the g1 looking transformers and that's basically exactly what transformers fans have been wanting since the first movie was announced and they never got it yeah yeah that's fair enough so you think this is going to be um transformers creed no definitely no definitely not, not on that or do level. you think it's going to be more of a uh fast five look here's here's i know what's going to happen it's going to be reviewed way better than any other transformers movie before it but it's also going to bomb at the box office no, it won't bomb. There's no way the Transformers well. movie will ever bomb at the box. It will yes. if it doesn't have Transformers in Actually, the title. Also, it might if it's reviewed well, because then fuck yeah. the critics. Oh, also, the lead is a woman. Yes. You have to take all that into account, guys. Agendas. I mean, it doesn't have Transformers in the title. It's going to be reviewed well. People are not going to go and want to watch it. Oh, yeah. And she, John Cena's the bad just, guy. Just to mm. make sure that I wasn't misremembering. Stop getting my hopes up. I am so hyped for Bumblebee. Yeah. 
That's a weird thing to say. Like, I... I'm not hyped for the movie at it's all. It's being written by a woman, though. Well, as I was saying... So it's, I think Bumblebee's gonna have purple hair. The lead is a woman, <laughs> and we haven't seen her hair throughout the film. She might dye it. No, she might cut it and dye it, and then... Poof, agenda in your face. Agenda just... There's right gonna be agenda your all over your oh, face. Mark Hamill's gonna hate it. Oh, Mark Hamill's not gonna understand it. <laughs> he's, just, he's just gonna be such... He's, he's like, like our son. He's just such a sweet, lovable boy. But... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I can't finish this thing because I know Disney listens to this, so they're going to tell on me. Mm. Yeah, I'm not excited for the movie, but I, I think it might. I think give it's the franchise be, a bit of a second wind I think it's in a new direction. Good. I'm, I'm going on record as saying it's going to be good. You think it's going to be good? I don't think it's going to be. Good. I don't think it's going to be good, but I'm saying it's going to be good. So that so if that it is eventually good, way, I can be like, yeah, I fucking told you so. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Or I can just continue the long tradition of being disappointed by Transformers. Fuck I win either way. Yeah. I wish I That's was that amazing smart. that you can go in thinking a Transformers movie is going to be shit and still be disappointed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I was so <laughs> tired and angry <laughs> and you were... sad after i walked out of the last night <laughs> you were you're... you were you're just, angry you just spent and not in a fun way yeah no not not in a good way at all <laughs> oh man well, i suppose they can only go up yeah, <laughs> yeah i guess maybe that's kind of true the fact that John Cena is the bad guy is still messing with my head. Yeah, I love that, mm. that crop that Voss Logic did. Where oh, he's like, Duke Nuke. <laughs> Duke Nuke. <laughs> I, would yeah. still, I would still love to see a live action Duke Nuke. Yeah, it'll be terrible. Oh, but obviously. Oh, no, it it is possible. coming. What, like, like Duke Nukem Forever was coming for 13 but, years? Well, no, I think this is Duke Nukem helmed by Michael Bay. That's headed our way. I mean. I mean, that I can't is, think so of a, I can't think of anyone. We've spoken about on, on the podcast. Before. Yeah, we have. I can't think of anyone better to helm something that will be so offensive. Yeah. So. I mean, it's say what you want about Michael Bay. He does have a style, and that style will fit with the Duke Nukem movie. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's directing. It looks like he's just producing. If he's getting his little bitch, uh, what's that? Him? What's that other guy um, who did I Turtles? Do that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. The the thing is. Honestly, honestly, a Duke Nukem movie set in like the late 70s or the early 80s. Oh, is that setting? Could be fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. Like, it could just. But they like, won't. Michael Bay that, won't but do it. That's he will the problem. Go future. If you do mm. it as like like a pastiche of like the whole Duke Nukem character and like the whole 80s machismo, that sort of Schwarzenegger Stallone era, like. That would be... You could do so many great things with yeah. that. It can be hilarious. But Jason... But, but I can't, so, but I can't wait for the scene where three Duke Nukems come rising out of the water. <laughs> because it'll be self-aware. But, but yeah, exactly. But Dion, they already made that movie. It's called The Last Action Hero. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Remember? Yeah. It's not grass mm. enough, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, it's grass enough. R-rated or... But, you know, seeing Schwarzenegger do Hamlet was fucking amazing. <laughs> I really need to rewatch that. Oh my god, yeah, it's such it's a fun years. watch. And, like, the the funny bits, like, hold... In fact, yes, that's something that should come back. The Last Action Hero. Well, it's not really, really a franchise. franchise. Yeah, no, but well, let's make they... it a franchise well, and bring it back. No, I think what they should do is they should just re-release <laughs> it on cinemas. That's what they're doing with Superman now. Yeah. It's like I saw that tweet where it's like Warner Brothers finally figured out how to make how to like b b put out a Superman movie that people actually want to watch. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, savage, scathing, but true. Mm. As long as they only put up the first two, I think it's only the first ones. Yeah, it's only the first one. Yeah. I, I saw an actual tweet from a person. I don't often block people, but I've got into the habit of blocking people on Twitter now, and it's great. It's fun. great. It feels we're good, like, right? We're a guy's yeah. like, finally watch Man of Steel. Can't understand why anyone hates this. It's the best Superman. Uh, it's the best superhero film ever made. Hashtag release the Snyder Cut. I'm not kidding. That was a tweet. Wow. And it was just like, that's like, not really that's, that is the Snyder Cut of that movie. That's like, that, I can't believe that's an actual tweet from an that, actual, that was an actual living tweet human, from being. human being. And I almost responded. I was it's like, ah, block. Yeah. You blocked. Yeah, you don't want to I've drop down to that from level. responding to a whole lot of shit like that. Yeah. And Twitter just makes you angry. 
No, yeah. no, I don't Twitter. I, I, I mean on Facebook, where you see my actual name and can like uh, get a hold of actual things. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying Twitter because I've realised that it's just a way for me to like see behind the scenes of Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, and there's like this, just a whole bunch of channel, a whole bunch of like uh, Twitter feeds, just like. Dog and cat photo, like that we rate dogs. We rate dogs, and yes. it's like what? and thoughts of a dog. Like it, Twitter's actually pretty joyous if you use it that way. Oh, yeah. and you just you just liberal with the yeah, but that's button. the wrong way to use it. You got to be angry and yell. Yeah, hmm. and oh. you need to follow horse ebooks even though they don't tweet anymore. Okay. Sorry. And then go read through all of I'll horse go, ebooks. I'll tweets. go pick a fight with this with a minor celebrity. You gotta harass a Star Wars cast member <laughs> off social media. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Okay. Oh, I've God. been using it wrong. Mm. So quick, di quick, quick diversion. A quick diversion from the a, diversion. A quick of diversion, the diversion from the diversion of the diversion of the diversion. Like I'm so done with humanity because the uh, some no, model. Did you, did you, did you clock it? Special. What? Did you clock it? What? Humanity. Yes. I'm trying to. What? No, no I, I the, thought it was uh, really the, like it's some of Ricky Gervais's best work. Yeah. Um, anyway, what, what I was saying is that uh, there was a, a model now with uh, for some sort of summer catalog somewhere. Okay, cool. This is nice and specific. Nice and specific, <laughs> right? <laughs> a okay. summer catalog. Cool. Somewhere. Is that the end of the story? Because that that wasn't a great story. No, 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 no. Oh, more. She is getting rape threats online. Because her oh, legs were not shaved Adidas. in the photo. It was Adidas. That Adidas. seems that seems like an interesting thought process. It's like, yeah, you're so ugly. I'm gonna have sex with you because of it. <laughs> Do you know what the gag is? The gag is that there is no way, shape or form, that that was her decision. Yeah. Like that's yeah. not how modeling works. Yeah. You don't get to choose things yeah. as the model. Like that's. I mean, she there's probably there's a creative stylist who goes to the client, who goes to the ad agency, who goes to the focus groups, who then make the decision to tell the model, don't wait, and then do you this. get involved. So, we should be raping you. Yes, I guess. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I mean, the I mean, short of it is on, on America's Next Top Model or whatever they're called, yes. where there's this lady with like hair down to her ass or something like that. The guy's like, okay, I want to shave your hair off. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. He's like, okay, I'm going to ask you again tomorrow. And the next day, he's like, I want to shave your hair off. She's like, no, he's like, okay, fuck off, you're off. Yeah, you're gone. That's, that's how it works. So, <laughs> yay. Yay. Yeah. That's fucking Anyway, okay. back to it, movie franchises. Yeah, back to, back movie, to franchises. movie franchises. So, so uh, you think Terminator is going to be redeemed with this new one? Considering I... James Cameron is involved and he wants to junk everything after T2. Yeah, and also... Kind of, yeah. Um, I always want to say TJ Miller, but Tim Miller <laughs> directing, like... I think it could... I think it could be good. Yeah. Like, I, I think that it could do, in theory, for Terminator what Halloween did for Halloween. That would be fantastic. Or what Creed did for Rocky. And that's oh, great that's, because it's not the yeah. same name, so it's not the same. It also didn't ignore a bunch of the movies. It nodded to them as it passed by. Well, no. It, no, I think it flat out ignores uh, Rocky Five. In fairness, Five. Halloween. Uh, <laughs> but then everyone in Halloween, ignores Some of the Rocky kids Five. are wearing masks from Halloween Three, huh. Season of the Witch. So season of the like, witch is. Well, I was canon. like, those look very familiar, and then in like the like right at the end of the end credits, it's like you know da -da -da from season from season of the witch. I, I was like, that. Eh, pick that up, deep cut. But yeah, deep so but what yeah, you're like, saying is like even in the new Halloween canon, seasons of the witch happened. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And I mean, yeah, I I and it doesn't involve uh, Mike Myers here. Yeah, I know that's the that's the thing. Like actor. that's the that's the only. Like, isn't that the only Halloween movie that has nothing to do yeah. with... It was so good. Never actually saw it. Uh, it's... I watched it. It is absolutely worth it. It is... It is fucking bad shit insane. Yeah. It is it's like, ridiculous. It's like... <laughs> and it's so racist against the Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. it's, wow. It's as off the wall as that puppet master movie where the puppets are the good guys and they have to kill Hitler. You remember what? that one? 
I haven't seen that one. I... Isn't there a new Puppet Master coming out? Yeah, there's like yeah. twelve of them. No, no, there's a Puppet Constantly. Master. There's a Puppet Master prequel. I'll get the title where it's like the origin story of the original dolls, and they actually come out of World War Two. Oh, well, that's shit. But did I it redeem the franchise? It. It's Puppet Master. <laughs> <laughs> what the there's fuck a new Leprechaun think? movie coming out. Oh my god, yes. Let's redeem Leprechaun. How? You know what? You know what Leprechaun. I find really strange? Have him rap. Is there's... They did that. Uh, and forgive Again. me in advance because I'm actually going to be on topic now, so I apologize Have him for mumble that. rap. Is that uh. the Child's Play movies, they're now... They're doing a reboot. Yeah. Yes. But the original creative team, like, led by Don Mancini, um is still making like they've never stopped and they're making a tv series yeah. yes. there's there's and there was that other movie as well that was the cult of chucky yes yeah. i remember that cult was of like a completely different offshoot of that which no. wasn't it no 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 that's mainline is that mainline Ma that's the most recent mainline oh was it i thought there was like a, a weird no no, no there's there was what is one before that sorry what's the I want to get this Bride right. of Chucky. Yeah, no, I, no, 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 no. Bride of Chucky was earlier. Uh, um, step then. Child's Story Play. Sorry, like, I take... I really love Child's Play, so I'm going to get this right. Um, list of Child's Play movies. Come on, Google. Know me. What's wrong with you? Did you just get a list of children? Just <laughs> all the children. Just a comprehensive list of every children. What a horrible list. Look at all that potential failure. It's like looking in a mirror. Look at all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, cool, yeah. Cult of Chucky was the most recent one. Mm. Um, and what I liked about that is they introduced, like, the idea of, like, multiple... Multiple Chucky's. Chucky's, yeah, it was, it was pretty fucking cool. And there was Curse of Chucky. That's the thing, is, like, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky went sort of very campy, yeah, very, like... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it less rewatching it now, uh -huh. but, um, but still cool. But Curse of Chucky in Missed 2013... That that's great. And went mm. back to, like... See, it I still had some of the dark humor, but it went back to being more of a straight-up horror. Oh, cool. Because the last one I watched was... It was either Bride or uh, Seed. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yay. <laughs> and no. then I watched... Um... Curse and Cult are both totally worth watching if you're a fan of the series. Like, especially Curse. Like, it was good. So now they're going on with the TV series with, like, Brad Dorff doing The Voice and Don Mancini. But there's also a reboot in the works. Like, which doesn't yeah, involve them at all. Really. Imagine that. Like, that's, that's that, really fucking that's weird. That's like having two different Jokers and then having another Joker at the same time. Yeah. 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 Diversifying your bonds. No, not like Wu-Tang. No. Super weird. But yeah, I think Charles... No, like, yeah, I love is. a lot of these classic franchises that just sort of... They just keep going. Somehow. Like, yeah. like I mean, Puppet Master, I had no idea there were so many. <laughs> yeah, and I had like no 12. idea there was one where they killed Hitler. Well, it's not, it's can't not, we just stop this it's podcast not the one, and go watch it, that? They basically, <laughs> they, well, they kill uh, a type of yeah. Hitler, but it's Puppet Master 3 to Lon's Revenge. Oh my god, I need to watch all of these. Yeah. I... Uh, Speaking are of, they actually worth like worth because i remember they are, one and two they're, vaguely they're bad but they're a good time yeah okay cool i'm watching um, the shit out do of you them. know what is really not a good time that is uh sitting down and watching every single hellraiser movie in one sitting oh god no don't that's do a that. bad time no, that sounds like a bad you time. shouldn't do that, that because that's after like three, that's like french frying when you should be pizzaing it's like yeah, you're, gonna, sure, have you're gonna have a bad yeah. time yeah. after three it's like like it's not even fun garbage and i i love garbage i live in the garbage yeah, i am no, the trash heard, man from list, yeah yeah you're the guy yeah. that gives neil breen money we uh, we know i am trash man you're the from... man who tried to get neil breen here i did i'm still wait on that you're man. the trash man i'm trash on man. the stand no from um <laughs> always I sunny to read that. <gasps> you should so one one and two rock solid yeah, yeah like yeah. even on rewatch okay to this i haven't rewatched to but, this day they're still them pretty solid three is where it started to waver and then it just has there ever been like another one worth watching no it's one of the ones that thomas thinks is due for redemption yeah i really think it's due for redemption because i think it should just die i don't i think there's so much there and i there's think so there's much, so much cool and there's so much blood and death yeah. it's like it needs like like a crimson mortality redemption yeah 
there's probably a better way of saying that. Yeah, but we'll never mm. figure it out. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, yeah. so they, sorry, just to get back to though. Puppet Master. I waited the entire episode to make that joke, so like, yeah. it's out of my system now, and okay. I can focus. Okay, I just <laughs> want to get back to um, Puppet Master. Oh, yes, So, please. the 13th film in the series... <laughs> Dion nearly spat out his coffee. <laughs> That's a glorious, yeah. ...was released this year, and it's called Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. That what? is a fantastic title. Is, is there a comprehensive Metacritic list for these Puppet Master movies? I that you probably can go don't. Uh... See if any of them have ever gone <laughs> above 40. <laughs> That's a, that would not, no. Wow. <laughs> we live in the darkest timeline. <laughs> wow. This is great. Well, at least we can have fun with this. This is great. So, so in The Littlest Reich, basically the puppets are evil again because there are a whole bunch of movies where the puppets are the good guys mm -hmm. like hey that's got 52 on metacritic <sighs> oh wow okay the i'm eating my words eat your words sir and some humble pie i, I mean but yeah, they basically what they did was originally they had puppet master one and two which were direct sequels puppet master three was a prequel set mm -hmm. in world war two then Jesus Christ. then full moon <laughs> then full moon basically started running with both Scissors. The modern day timeline <laughs> and the World War Two timeline, <laughs> like almost alternating. It's a fucking mess. Like there are articles online trying to explain the chronology of the Puppet Master. Man, I can't wait till I Whoa. sit down and watch them all in one day. We should do. I don't that. think there are enough hours in a day. Uh, it's only seven hundred and seventy minutes for all of them. So how many hours is that? You're asking the wrong there's guy. There's like, yeah, uh, there's a couple that like it's don't. A full day. Like, it's a full two day. Two and yeah. three don't even have Metacritic scores. Yeah. No one ever saw them. 770, you say? Yeah. Ah, it's only 13 hours. Yeah, it's a day. How long are days? I don't know. I just got to work and I go home. Less. Less than, th less than, le more than that. <laughs> less than more than that. All right. Oh, that's a good indication. Yeah. So yeah, I think Puppet Master should be rebooted. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't no, need any help. It needs a reboot, but the current thing needs to continue as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. It needs to it's reboot. So trendy you know what days. they should do? They should reboot and it. And then have an animated and, series at the same time. Yeah. And canonize small soldiers in the Puppet Master <laughs> universe. <laughs> <laughs> small soldiers. Fuck off. That was such a dark film, man. Yeah, a tiny bit racist. It's a lot racist. No, wait, I'm sorry. I'm you think of Indian, Indian in the, in the cupboard. cupboard? Yeah, you're thinking of Indian You're in the thinking cupboard. of the actual racist one. Yeah. yeah. This one was just weird. Yeah. And like... It wasn't totally... Hey, David S. Goyer is one of the many, many, many writers involved. Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. In the franchise. Of course he is. Hold on a second. Um, I don't know which forms this includes, but it, this is now... You said 770 minutes. So yeah. that's obviously all the forms. Budget. Four point two three million dollars combined. <laughs> <laughs> that is the combi oh. nineteen eighty nine to present yeah. budget. Four point two three million dollars combined. Wow, I was a producer on the first one. <laughs> that is. Uh, but you know why it's so low? It's because they keep reusing the same puppets. I was saying they got the same props. Yes. Yeah. Wow, again. that's like puppet master. It's like Bethesda of evil. Using Puppet Master X, Axis <laughs> yeah. Rising. Yes. Puppet Master Axis Termination. That one doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. <laughs> yeah. This is incredible. This is an, an untapped treasure trove. Yeah. <laughs> I need to not watch any of them. I need to watch them all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to... Heroin. Yes, besides Puppet heroin. Puppet Master 4 has a 0% rating after 5 reviews. <laughs> you know what we should do for, for New Year's, right? <laughs> but that's the one that's got the highest audience rating of 66%. Wow. Where was that for our other episode? I'm gonna try to find... <laughs> yo, yo, sorry we didn't tap into the Puppet Master universe. I'm gonna try and give you. I'm gonna try Thank and you. find all of the Puppet Master movies and then we can watch them over New Year's. I am, I'm gonna absolutely get all of them and I'm gonna put them on that screen for in the background for while I work and yeah. I'm gonna watch all of them. Do it, be inspired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't. But do it though. It's gonna be great. So that's the part of you know what Do you know what I what I'm very sad about that they didn't take the opportunity like 10, 15 years ago. What was that? Is reinvigorating franchises like 
uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, all of those, with crossovers. Because we got Freddy vs. Jason. Which yeah, we got the one oh, which was the trashiest oh. trash. Um, so it was bad as Jason X. I enjoyed yeah. it. So that was schlocky trash. Ah, you got me there. I enjoyed Freddy vs. Jason so much when it came out in the cinema. Like, oh, 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 I yes. had yes. Such two, a good 2008 time. 2008 Thomas was there. No, it's older than that. Is no, it was 2004? Oh, dude, it's like 99 or something. What? No, maybe not 99. No, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's early. But it's uh, very what, what early. What do you call though. it? The oh no's. Yeah, yeah. The oh no's. It was early Patented oh no's. Dion. Oh no's. Which sounds like a breakfast. Okay, theory. Google. When was Freddy vs. Jason released? All right. So yeah, no, you gotta say, Marcus. You gotta say. Jason was released in South Africa on the twenty fourth of October two thousand and three. <gasps> oh, did you ask There's Mira? a tiny woman on your phone. There's a tiny Google in my phone. Did no, you ask Mira? Go, no, I asked. Yeah, Cortana. I asked Mira. Nice. Um, the. Yeah, I enjoyed the shit. Out. And in fairness, like a lot of their interactions was still like still hold up very cool but yeah like the movie is trash but can you think about like all the potential crossovers like that they were talking like freddy versus jason versus ash yeah, yeah. oh my god yes or freddy and i mean they were talking jason about versus the cheapest creepers monster before it came out that that guy was an actual pedophile <laughs> versus ash and they were talking about versus that Trimmers. for years and years and years and like there were a couple of times where it looked like it was actually going to happen like what a wasted opportunity. That would have been I a just wish there was a whole time. series of movies with Ash just killing all these monsters. <laughs> yeah. Pretty so much. basically Ash you wanna put you wanna put Ash versus Ash the universe in the yeah. Universal Monsters universe. Yeah. And just have him fight all the Universal Monsters. Yeah. 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 That sounds like a great I mean series. be incompetent but still come out on top. Yeah. What a hero. And that's the thing is what's his name? Uh the guy that plays Freddy? Robert England. Yeah, yeah, Robert England. I keep wanting to say Brad Dorf. <laughs> but like, oh, and they also wanted to have a, a crossover one with like Freddy versus Jason versus Ash versus Chucky. Like that yeah. was apparently mm -hmm. like in talks as well. That's great. Um, I mean, he's retired now. Um, Rorschach mm -hmm. is now. Yeah. And um, Bruce Campbell's retired from playing Ash. It's yeah. like, oh, why didn't you? Like, you could make it so cheap and make so much money. Uh, yeah, and mm. everybody would love it. Everyone would love it. Except Jackie Ol Haley. That's the thank best you. Name. Um, or is it Healy? Healy. I know. Jackie Ol Healy. Healy. Um, you know what we also need is we need a good female villain. Ooh. Other than Kathleen Kennedy. I was gonna say. Don't you have that on your phone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how fast you pulled that up. That was any more. It was called air horns. It was like at the top of my apps list. <laughs> so Wait, doesn't it have a widget so you can just have it on your home screen? <coughs> no idea. Until well, that was, I'm, I'm fair, that was fast enough. Yeah, that, that was. Yeah, that was, that was really fast. Um, <laughs> I have to get, keep it open. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, are there any sort of major like? The only one I can think of that comes to my head, which is another one that I would have liked a rebirth of, is Species. Yes! Oh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. first movie with uh, Forrest Whitaker and the other people that were in that film. That Who I weren't Forrest remember. Whitaker. Yeah. I like that, I, I I like that Forrest cool. Whitaker is the one you remember from that movie. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's, he's, he's a memorable fan. He's uh -huh. a memorable dude. Okay. Um, Who played the villain? The same girl from Mimic. That should be rebooted. Um, who but is yeah. she, Thomas? I don't know. Remember the name of somebody who's not a man. <laughs> In fact, uh, like, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if it is actually theoretically possible, like through science. It's maybe like um, machine learning, like that kind of thing, like the new Google and yeah, deep the way learning it... shit, like networks and stuff. To have like a female villain um, whose sort of villainy doesn't involve her being naked. Impossible. Like, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, so, no, I'm talking that, about the future yeah, now. Yeah. That's, those are the like, designs. Like, maybe with RTX yeah, or something. Scientists at whiteboards for years <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure it RTX out. RTX like, on. Mm. Sorry, as soon as you turn <laughs> RTX on, she just gets naked. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I mean, they've got, like, those deep machine learning cores and shit now. Like, maybe? Can make the women nudity question mark? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, no, but the problem is there's so much porn on the internet, it's always going to make the woman I naked. I, f I feel like it would really help to maybe have a female writer to do that. 
That's Whoa. double crazy. Yeah, because the thing is, like, now you're you're trying to solve two problems simultaneously. No, I feel yeah. like solving the one would solve the other. So if you figure out how to have a woman be a villain, but her villainy doesn't involve her taking off her clothes, she'll become... A, a female writer. writer. Yes! Which and is the ultimate character. character. I, feel like, I feel like we've gotten this turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like we're doing this the right way. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what I heard about Rick and Morty. Like, because there were female writers, like, involved in se more female writers in season three, mm -hmm. that's why it's obviously, like, completely artistically bankrupt. Yes. And absolutely not the best season. Yeah, Rick and Morty fans are the best. Rick and Morty fans are so great. He's so great, you guys. They're so much smarter than the rest of us. To be fair, you've got to have a pretty high IQ. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you need to have a very high IQ to, to jump on a counter quickly. and scream. <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick. So is my Szechuan sauce. Oh, We're God. getting derailed again. We're getting so, derailed We're derailing again. ourselves, to be fair. But so, on that note, I mean... Fucking redemption of Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I can't wait for that to happen. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm close to get That's never gonna get old. <laughs> That's so um, great. I don't know why I'm pointing the air horn thing in there when the speaker's here. <laughs> You're an idiot. It's a I visual know. representation. More uh, great uh, visual gag. visual gag. Just keep that thing open. We talk about Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And nothing goes better with Why space we... opera than air horns. Alright, let me just adjust the volume on it. There we go. There we go. We're ready. In space, We're no one ready can hear you, air horn. <laughs> We're ready going... for this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> that'll work. Uh, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Force Awakens, mm. greatest redemption story of our time. No. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. Serious. Business. I was just keeping the screen alive because it's going to go black and then I'm having a boop, boop. Oh. And that's a problem? Oh. Fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> this whole table vibrate as well. That's going to pick up great in the recording. I'm sure. That's amazing. Um, yeah. And then obviously The Last Jedi came along. No. And it was good. Oh, yeah. you, More visual cast. No air horns for yeah. you. Yeah. It really was. Yep. It was really so good. Yeah, great. I mean, following the prequels and also episode six. Yeah, that's the thing that people don't realize. Is, or, uh, I think they realize that they're just in denial. Is that, like, Return of the Jedi, not that great a movie. Um, the prequels, hot garbage. What do you mean? Number two and was, was the exciting one. And there was also... <laughs> and it's so dense. There was also... <laughs> I mean, there was also like the Star Wars holiday special. There was that series that was—you've seen the footage of that yeah. series that Lucas was developing. No, no. Where, what? where they all dance? Where there's like dance? What? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet baby Jesus, can we pause this recording quickly so I can show? I don't oh, know. No, we, we show you afterwards. I don't know. No, 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 let's pause it so we can get Thomas's reaction. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wait. There's a pause. There we are. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now that now, now that Jason is and we all have cancer. So yeah, what, what uh, Dion was George referring Lucas to... George Lucas is a uh, visionary director. Yeah, and what Dion was referring to was, and you can Google this for yourself. Don't! Don't put this YouTube. cursed knowledge out there. No, we this have to. This is like the ring. You can't tell people about this. Star Wars detours. Yeah, we have to. Guys, okay, up until this point, I apologize, because, uh, I apologize profusely. What did the, you... the only thing I'd seen of that was that little dance sequence, like, was yeah. a gif of that. I thought I was going to laugh. I thought I was going to laugh at something bad, Dion. <laughs> Dion, that's what you promised me. You promised me that I was going to laugh at something silly. I... I don't know what to say. I'm going to cry. That's... Star Wars and and that was George Lucas's idea? Yeah, that, that he's was a visionary. That, he's, he's a great visionary. He's oh obviously man, why did blind... they ever take Star Wars away from him? Oh yeah, no, he really... He's yeah. obviously blind with super cancer then. Like, whatever he's seeing. Look. I bet Mark Hamill fucking loved that. Ooh, I bet Mark Hamill understood that. <laughs> <laughs> that was maybe the worst thing I've ever seen. That might in my actually life. objectively be. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Have you seen? Wait, I, I just want just to put it in com into comparison with other things that are also CG animated and horrendously terrible. Is it worse than Tripping the Rift? Yes. The thing yes. is, the thing tripping is, the Rift knows what it is. The thing is, this has 
like the biggest most powerful most storied franchise in the universe to play off of yeah and that's what it did and that's what it gave you so yeah this is objectively worse than anything i've ever seen and i just really apologize for me for, like, for doing that yeah. i had no idea how bad that, that was, was and that... just a just a reminder oh all of us have actually seen the ultimate edition of batman v superman i watched yeah. neil breen yeah. movies by choice by choice i watch them yes but everyone they watches them by choice better than that we watched the neil breen by choice i re i really feel week. sad now i feel I, tired and sad I, I feel like i just watched the last night but yeah. like 12 times podcast over so i guess the greatest redemption story does go to star wars for, for clawing sure. itself because back from that's that that's what because it was gonna be yeah under the guide and i mean they already his vision of george lucas they'd already, i mean have. they already had enough for a lengthy trailer that was like so that was that close to like, release that, was, that felt that like it was like 10 hours. minutes yeah i swear disney saw that trailer and they're like well you know we're not really interested in Star Wars, but we can't let this happen. We weren't <laughs> thinking of buying it, but we we need to stop this yeah. right now. We, this needs to be excised before and then, like, it kills us. Like they sort of like Bob Iger sort of like looked in his pockets. He's like, "Do I have any? Uh, is my wallet? Do I have any change?" And he's like, "Oh, I got 4.7 billion dollars here uh, in like in my little money pocket." Like George, you, George want you want this? You want this? Just sign this document, George. Just sign this paper and then he did and it saved us from the real darkest timeline that, you know, eventually uh, we're gonna have to describe what the actual darkest no, timeline no, is and no i think i think basically if you hate yourself go watch the star wars detours trailer if you hate yourself like if, if you, you ever want yeah, to be okay, a complete you know, you know, human you george being, lucas is a visionary go watch or you it. just want to push yourself over the edge if yeah. you if Mentally. if you ever want to be just a functioning human being again and not just be a hollow shell don't watch yeah. it that i'm i feel physically unwell Ill. yeah and i'm not even exaggerating and we didn't even like see the part described where obi-wan uses his force powers to, to beat women. woman Oh, to hit on them. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was them. both. No, hit it, on. Well, oh, okay. well, Seth Green is involved. It's probably both. Probably both. Mm. But I can see. I can, what I will say is how at around the time that was being thrown around, like 2010 ish, because it was said to go alive in 2012. How a 2010 demographic might have thought, "Oh my God, this no, is fucking hilarious." No, because in 2010, people were still human beings. Like. We haven't fundamentally evolved in eight years to the point where we suddenly don't think that, like, no, there was no, there's no that one in the universe. That was morally objectionable. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that's a six-year-old's first thought jokes upon watching Star Wars for And the then first pornography time. at the same time. And then, and they just, like, they just, they showed a group of developmentally stunted six-year-old star wars for the first time and every time one of them made like a joke or a comment they wrote right. it down yep and they were like cool script is done <laughs> this is gold <laughs> this is untapped salt mines of writers all i know is that george lucas can afford some incredible drugs like i think i think that's <laughs> that's all it comes down to yeah he was on like the speed of mescaline or something <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a great drug. Um, <laughs> I know mess. drugs. I'm very sad. Now. I'm very unimpressed. That's like taking all the wind from my sails. Like I, I had things that I like. Whose idea was to stop the podcast and go and watch that? <laughs> I believe Mark, it's you, idiot. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll take the blame. I'll take the heat for this one. Yeah. Because I will now try to get us back on topic. All right. Let's okay. let, let's, let's try. So. A film series that got ran into the ground All right. mm -hmm. but because it was taken over by not the original filmmakers All right. and mm -hmm. which, Titanic no mm -hmm. okay yes but no what, which I think does deserve I wouldn't say a reboot but it also in the same way as Terminator deserves the original creative team to come back and sort of update it um, would be jaws actually i would like to see a more modern take on jaws 
but like Jaws as in the first Jaws. Not Jaws 2, 3, 4, Why Son of though? Jaws. But Jaws is so perfect. Yeah, but yeah, I, I just want to, I just, I just think it would be interesting to see that sort of creature feature formula Me, well, moved forward Meg, to today. The thing is, today. I, I can't imagine. But Meg's not the Jaws, though. No, I know. Uh, I can't imagine, like, I know it's easier to say, oh, this classic form is perfect, but, like, what, in terms of, like, updated technology and modern context, could possibly be improved? Yeah, because adding CG would make it bad. Like, yeah, there'll be more mm. focus on the shark, and it'll be like, oh, that looks like a real shark. It's not going to make it more, like, scary or impressive. Yeah, the, the, the glory like, of that I, film was the I don't the see how it can be improved upon. Yeah, like I not to that, be like like you I'm said, not saying like it can be improved old. upon. I just see I want I just, just want see, a new one. I just want to see what a new one would be. Yeah, but like, but there's yeah, nothing, no, that's fair enough. But there's nothing that I'll like that. a new one could do that doesn't already exist, like in the original. Like like for instance, something like um like star like say star wars for instance right i mean there there were sort of there were limitations to what they could do and it's like it would be fair to say like oh if if they hadn't made new ones like i wonder what a new star wars would look like or a new yeah. star trek because we have all this new technology but there's there's literally nothing about modern filmmaking that would make a remake of jaws like worthwhile because all they could do is up the spectacle which then detracts from the acting was the point of the movie. which was the point of the movie yeah i'm gonna disagree on that one like i can't imagine a modern jaws you're welcome to disagree that's why we have a podcast i disagree with you and i accept that no are you saying that's not why we have a podcast yeah no i disagree fully okay. wait no i agree wait why wait, 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 supposed to be an echo chamber oh oh right that's how Shit, i guess works. cinebeard is gonna have to be rebooted yeah to... what no, it's still going to be the Cinebeards. Yeah, it's just going to be... It's going to be It's going to be re rebooted, but with the same creative team. We'll do it from next week's episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think that... It's like like with Strident, where every now and then I'd announce on stage, like, hey, like, sorry, uh, Strident couldn't make it tonight, but we're a Strident cover band comprised entirely of members of Strident. That's cool. <laughs> is, is that like when Loki... I'm... Um, um, Loki. When uh, Squiscar pretends <laughs> to be... Um, what's his name? The from Medlock Lips, where they have the Death Clock cover band. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes where Toki pretends Toki, to be yes, Squishcore. This predates that episode. Yeah. Doubt. Dubious nature. Whatever. <laughs> um. Okay. So what about what about something? Look, Fast and Furious managed to make one hell of a comeback. Fast and the Furious made maybe one of the greatest franchise comebacks. I wouldn't even. No, history. I wouldn't call it a comeback because they were never that great yeah. no no but that's no, the point one one was good not great two was worse three, three was, was a trash bad. fire bad four was a slight correction in the other direction and five was just fucking amazing five was a rebirth yeah but yeah it was a so re that's the thing is like it's it's not like they're recapturing like past glories it's just yeah. like they took something yeah. that they'd not really like they, they took a while to get, it's like uh, and, mission impossible yeah, as well yeah. where it's like yeah, the first just, one was good yeah good and then like nah, nah, nah. And, the and then it's just African like number four bag, comes uh, out and it's just yeah, fucking like, sensational and Paul green yeah. grassland just knocks it out of the fucking park and there you go now mission impossible is what it is it was Very the same good. thing with uh yeah, rewatch that yeah. most recent one with uh with first and the furious because they had they were just basically it feels like almost they were trying to keep the ip on life support until they found the right creative team to take the reins the, uh, and make it what it should be. There are actually a lot of similarities yeah, uh, 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 between... Uh, 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 the right creative team to take the wheel. Yes. There we go. There's actually a lot Jesus. of similarities Save between me. the two because they kind of... Both of them lost focus in the same way in which they they um, concentrated on one like protagonist or one character and then when it became an ensemble thing, that's when it got good. Yeah, mm. that's when it hit its stride. Mm. Star Trek, anyone? There we go. There you As go. Well. The J.J. Abrams verse. Because, like, Jay after Brooks. Star Trek, I think it was four, there were, yeah. like, that was the last good one. Yeah. And then there were trash. Was four the one with the whales, or was that five? 
Uh, five was on the whales. So it's five the one with the whales. Yeah, one was shit, two was good, three was shit, four was good. And then they were just shit. But now, look what we have. Yeah. Now we have a good time. Yeah. Now we had one was good, two was shit, three was good. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's an inverse. So number four, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be great. I don't... Ooh, no, wait. No, I, I don't know where to go with that. That's what I tell myself every morning. hi yo. Hey -o. What about... <laughs> what I about... need air horns to kill my, my <laughs> depression. How about, how about we do Back to the Future, but with like an old crotchety Michael J. Fox? It sounds like a shaky premise. And then... <laughs> And then, no, 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 he become, he do, goes back Jesus. in time, right? Yeah. And, and then that's have, a bit of a stretch for the Jacob franchise. Bridges yeah. playing yes. him yes. when he was yeah. young. Yeah, yeah. 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 playing like him, but adult Marty. Yes, he doesn't play actually, Marty, he plays Martin McFly. Actually, just like, I know they'll fuck it up, but yeah. that would actually be, because of like the whole de-aging technology and like all that shit, Time like, travel movies are it right. Would, for it would a, a actually resurgence. be pretty fucking cool to have like a, a time travel star movie, like a Back to the Future. Yeah. Well, then what, where where just, actor... just everybody is just a young Jeff Bridges. <laughs> well, no, where, but where That's like where an older actor goes back? Well, then what, yeah. well, then, to interact with a young like like say. Well, the... then do you want Back to the Future or do you want something else? Well, like I don't want to say yes, Back to the Future because apparently that has been topping polls for like the franchise audiences want most want to reboot of oh no yeah yeah exactly so i don't want to like i don't want to go putting that out into the universe yeah. adding that energy mm. to that um <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah like but i mean imagine how cool that would actually be like yeah. you have current michael j fox you know he's marty mcfly he's older all this stuff and then like something he realizes that like he'd made some sort of ripple in time and space mm. and he has to go back to warn young, young marty so, yeah. like imagine that scene i'm not saying make the movie imagine but just, imagine it, how cool I, that I, scene I can actually would be i cool. can actually see it like where they would put it right old marty has to go back and warn young Marty not to trust Doc Brown when the Iranians are coming. Oh, Ooh, that's shit. erasing the chronology of the entire franchise. Exactly. That is actually cool. That would actually be pretty damn cool. Right, and then then, cool. then they can just take I'm it from gonna... there, and then they can have like old Marty, who somehow still has the memories of going through the time travel, and everything, pretty much like Logan, trying to save something in the past. But using different actors, he's just like the anchor point of this new it would be, franchise. It would be super cool, like... Um, I'd watch it. Yeah, like, uh, and the thing is, we have the tech to do it convincingly. I'm just going to yeah. quickly WhatsApp uh, Graham. <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah. This yeah. is a rock solid idea. Do that, because we, we just figured the, out how to reboot Would you put the Back film the grain on the 80s? Of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Of course, you would. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a little weird. Yeah. Uh, that is actually a fucking cool premise. I think we solved it. Yeah, there I think go. that would that would actually make, if not a full feature length film, imagine what a cool short film that would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. But if we get David Goyer to write it, it will be like a trilogy. Uh, and then split the last one into two parts. Yeah. yeah. But are we talking about that Disney writer who recently compared the anti the word anti-vax with the N-word? What? What? The the script writer, the guy that wrote the script for Aladdin and other things like like. Academy Award nominated scriptwriter compared the word anti vax to the N word. Basically, saying, saying if you call them anti vaxxers, it's like. Correct. It's like using the N word. Correct. I, I, what's no. his view on the whole thing? I'm getting. Oh, is he anti vax? Yes. Is he Jim Carrey? No! You know what this reminds me of? That South Park episode where Randy says the N-word and then they get that like whenever the N-word is said it has to be at least seven words removed from the word guy. <sighs> yeah, I, I saw it this morning on Twitter. The world is a shit. So anyway, I fixed Back to the Future. You did, actually. You did. Spectacularly. And Good then job. Thomas brought it back down. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's all yeah. I know how to do. Yeah, because I mean, it would, cause that that way you get a creative freedom for the 
current team to do whatever the hell they want yeah with it still being linked to the original and you're gonna piss off the old fans anyway so why not why not piss go, them off yeah. by saying you know what you know what it's not even fucking canon anymore do you know what they How love that being subverted yeah they Ooh, love that yeah. how does it burn in a good way how does it burn in a bad way yeah. A Snoke with a big X on him. <laughs> Fuck, every time I see that video, I'm just like, why are you showing me this? Why? The worst part is it doesn't this. show up on my personal YouTube, but whenever I sign in to upload the Cinebeard stuff, <laughs> it's, it's on the Cinebeard's YouTube. Wow. Yeah. They're, they're coming for you. They're coming for, they're, they're coming for all of us. Yeah. I hope Guys. So. Yeah. This is the, one of the most upsetting things I've ever read. I oh, do you want to bring a heart again? I wasn't joking. Okay. I wasn't He's joking. worked on Shrek, Aladdin, Pirates of the Caribbean, all these things. He then said, like the um, Julie Benson, who's the writer of the series The One Hundred, like she retweeted a whole thing, you know, dedicated to like people that were like were fighting for vaccination. Yeah, you know, humans. And then yeah. Benson. Um, uh, then she. Oh, he also wrote Lone Ranger. Um, oh, okay, that makes sense. The one blemish in I his like, career. I like how he he then, lo wrote Lone Ranger and is like, hey, guys, can't be racist. <laughs> and then he's like, um, the, he, then he wrote, he says the my heart goes well. out to all the parents of vaccine damaged children who have to not only endure the sadness of their loss, but also the vitriol of ill informed and insensitive people such as those here. Anti vax is equivalent to calling someone a N word. And he's, which he, he, actually, actually, he, writes, no, no, he writes the whole word. No, like asterisk. Um, and no, makes no, like, as little word. sense. And then, like, people just. <laughs> the, people the, the, just lost their fucking the one, uh, The one guy's like, God, this is such a good point. I remember how American founders <laughs> and citizens enslaved vaccine skeptics for decades. <laughs> and then, even after freeing them, the government enshrined laws to marginalize vaccine deniers and to deny them wealth and opportunity. That's just history. Oh, and finally, eat shit, Terry. <laughs> Wow. You know, the, the thing and I thought David S. Goyle was my least favorite screenwriter. Yeah. Wow. It, what is the absolute... fact that he said the whole word and it wasn't like he didn't just say N word? Well, I no. mean, it's also just like the sentiment. The sentiment is like, so oh, vaccine damage. Yeah, I feel so bad for all the millions of parents whose children aren't dead. Yeah. I mean, it's wh like, where is oh, it that you someone... got into a car crash and the seatbelt kind of like broke your arm a little bit? Yeah, it's so sad. You should have gone through the window and into the other car yeah. and then exploded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she should have been a human. It's potpourri. it's almost like that. Oh, where is it now? Somewhere in the states right now, there is the biggest outbreak of chicken pox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in, in like in a in an anti-vax hotspot. Yeah, kids are literally dying of the measles. Yeah, yeah. measles. Like kids. they're dying. Yeah, nah, but and these parents are like, yeah, haha, -ha, take that. <laughs> measles that hasn't government. been deadly for decades. You're not gonna get me the government. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure preventable you diseases mean, might get my child. My child you won't mean, get me. My child might get government. a small rash, or might get like or a meningitis, learning, or learning learning disability, possibly. Haha, -ha, but jokes on you. Like, I'd rather they be dead. But it's not even possibly. I know yeah, it's not possibly, but in their minds, it's possible. The thing is, in their minds, the worst thing that can happen if you have vaccines is you get autism and it's like how is that worse than how death? is that your worst case <laughs> how, not even death just having your child mangled by polio <laughs> and then dying it's not just death it's slow it's painful horrible, debilitating man illness and then death yeah. and then i go uh uh, 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 uh. i'm not having my child I'm having not slight having learning disabilities big pharma tell me what to do so that in movie franchises better dead than red i guess i think i think one thing we need to reboot is just like people yeah, yeah. we yeah. need so to we reboot, reboot humanity yeah. and we yeah. don't need a soft reboot and we need a hard there is a historical wipe. precedent for that yes you know what we need the we need a darren aronofsky noah style we reboot do. of the human race we do. The thing is, last time it was floods, and I guess this time it's going to be fire. I hope it's flood fire. Yeah. Floods like, oh fire. my god, just like, like all lava? the oil wells no. in the world but open also, up yes. at once, and it's just like a rolling tidal wave of fucking fire. It's pretty metal. That That'd sounds like metal. a Geostorm sequel. That does. That does sound like a Geostorm sequel. Cool, Graham. Ooh. I want to watch Geostorm Sorry, I'm again. just trying to get us back onto the trend of Cinebeard's bingo. <laughs> 
I'm maybe so, just maybe so we'll happen this. back on the topic. I'm just <laughs> so upset by this whole episode. Like... <laughs> Yeah, nobody should listen home. to this episode. This In fact, you should just sum up all this. The this has turned episode. out to be the most upsetting episode. And we're not even upset. And we did the audience score one with racist <laughs> mom, mom, <laughs> Robo Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, the by the, way, the, the, the the death of Robo Marcus is is, is the my favorite thing we've ever done. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, was, dude, that was that was fantastic. No, I've, no. I've, I've, like, I've listened to that clip on my phone so many times. <laughs> my favorite part is the <laughs> bleh. <laughs> yeah, bleh. Mine is so cold. So cold. <laughs> it is so no, cold. No. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, I do not want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Okay, fuck you guys. He's gonna come back and kill us all. I hope so. Well, that that depends. If this is the darkest timeline, he will come back to kill us all. We're fucked. And on that note... On my, that my note... Recommendation, my recommendation... <laughs> is that Watch you, out for RoboMars! <laughs> my recommendation is that behind your you... Couch. You, um... Sort of enter the Back to the Future universe. You go back in time to warn yourself not to listen to this incredibly upsetting episode, episode. of this cursed episode of Cinebeards. That's my recommendation. That is the best recommendation. I uh, I don't think it can be topped. So uh, with that, uh, plugs. Uh, hair plugs uh, in my face. Hair plugs. Plugs. Uh, hair. I, I I I don't know. I, don't, I just I, want to plug I, this this black like, hole of sadness even, in my soul. We can't even say Krabby's a side show because they don't yeah. sponsor this no, episode. Yeah. No, they pulled out. Yeah, they're listening I mean, to us live. Marcus lost his Netflix funding. It's just, <laughs> it's, this episode's been a fucking disaster. Yeah. No, I have lost my Netflix funding. You know what? <laughs> I, I think we should just stop this episode before anything else bad.